we're better. She's not better, actually. She's where I was yesterday. He's better. I'm better. I'm a mess. She's a mess. <laughs> Let's start out by wishing Vincent Gutierrez. Very good. <laughs> or Vincent Gutierrez. A happy birthday to you, happy Vincent. Happy birthday. Yes, his birthday is May 8th. Happy birthday, Vincent. Okay. <coughs> I hope you're all okay with the way I'm doing my shout-outs right now. Being sick, I just can't do what I normally do. It's just a little too much for me. Um, Janet Johnson, glad you got uh, your envelope. And sorry you're not feeling that well. Hope you get to feeling better soon. <coughs> my question yesterday was... If you were to start your own business, what would it be, and what would you name it? Tanya Longley said that she would start a thrish, thrift shop with her sister-in-law, Terry Longley, and they would call it TNT's Thrifty Thrift Shop. And she could sell her, her jewelry, because she makes jewelry. She could sell her jewelry there. Pretty catchy name there. Okay, Jay the Cannabis Explorer, you know, we just kind of, like, opened the door for him for this one. Uh, my business would be called Cannabis Explorer Extracts. Uh, Angie Lupus Life, I would open a charity that would help provide information, referrals, and assistance to chronically ill patients looking for natural holistic treatments and therapies in their areas. Very, very good. And, and it would be a charity, so, you know, it would be free to people. Awesome answer. Okay, Shelter for Wind works for a cleaning company, and he would like to start his, his own business doing the same thing. But in his dreams, he would love to be a tourist guide and work for a big company in Europe. Good answer. Greg Myers, he wants to start a business selling Yu-Gi-Oh! Prog, prog Products. Thank you. You're welcome. And he would call it... Uh, Kaiba Land or Kaiba Land? Kaiba Land or Kaiba Land, something like that. Jack Salmon said... If he started his own business, it would be taking care of polar bears. Just kidding. <laughs> um, it would be a cleaning business, a cleaning service called Suds in the Bucket. He had his own business for 24 years where he repaired TVs. Awesome. Melody Mainville. Mom's Wogs 80. She has her own business. It's called Sweet Melodies Photography. Go check it out on her Facebook. You can go on to her YouTube channel, Melody Mainville, Mom's Vlog 80, and go down and see all their other links and go to her Facebook and then you'll find um, her, her photography business. Tracy Quick would open a doggy boutique. Terry Johnson says that she would open an old-fashioned bookstore with comfy seats, and she would call it Terry's Tomes. She hates to see books be a thing of the past. Hannah Hinkle says she would open a business called Hinkle by Designs. Kind of working on it. She designs flyers, menus, brochures for local businesses for lower prices. Right now she's currently working out of a library. So she kind of has her own business already. Crimson Fairy. I would open a sci-fi fantasy store with... I would sell books and other things that deal with sci-fi, fantasy, and folk tales. And she would call it Mystical Journeys. Love the name. Susie here would like to open a scrapbooking store because there aren't any around her other than big box stores. And she would call it 
Paper Crafting Divas. I used to do a lot of scrapbooking. I kind of miss it. The Abyss 92882. My business would be Math Tutoring Company, and it would be named Wrestling with Math. Good name. Okay. Betsy Wetsy waves her magical wand over us and makes us all better. Good. I, I really wish it worked. <laughs> it's worked for me. I'm fine. Can you wave it again? My voice is a little lower than it used to be. but. So what, what kind of business would you want to do? Well, we've tried businesses before. And um, there's just the things that we enjoy doing, there isn't enough of a market for. So I, I don't know. I mean, we did woodworking. Where I'm in, really into woodworking. Val's really into woodworking. I used to make cabinets for a living. There was no money in that either. And even now, I would say most people don't hire someone to build their cat their kitchen anymore. They go to Home Depot. So um, the things that I enjoyed doing are, are things of the past. Even being a musician is sort of a thing of the past now. Well, I still would love to continue. A lot of you know me on Facebook and Instagram as Windy Wands. And I used to make magical wands and sell them at Renaissance fairs. And we really enjoyed doing that. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. But we were ready to take, take it to the next step further and do Wendy's Woodworking. And then I got sick and, and you know, Sarah moved away and she was doing all the artwork and this and that. <coughs> so everything kind of fell to the wayside. And I'm hoping once I get my surgery and I, hopefully I'm feeling so much better to get back into the wood shop and to do that. Yes, it doesn't make us a fortune, but we enjoyed doing the work in the garage and going to the run fairs and, and selling stuff. Yeah, but well we have so. to make enough money to actually support this household. Yes. And it won't do that. No, it won't do that, but you know, it's something that we, we enjoy doing and once you get a job and all that stuff, and that'll be something extra and something fun that we used to like to do. We can add it back in. So, anyway, my question for today is, um, what do you and, and your family like to do on your Saturdays? There it is. It's time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. Really? <laughs> it's time! No, it's okay. It's okay. It's time you, you already for, ruined the moment? It's time for you Neighborhood the Community Credit Roll! Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Okay, yesterday's question had to do with Rob Zombie movie, House of a Thousand Corpses. And, um... He named a, a bunch of his characters, not all of them, but a bunch of the camera characters, uh, after characters in Marx Brothers movies. I'm not going to go through them all. If you want, if you want to see see them, then read uh, Terry Johnson's and uh, Bambi S's. They they uh, they did a pretty good job of listing them all. Apparently, they um, uh, they go further into why they're named that in the sequel, which uh, which I've never seen, so I didn't know. Uh, so, and those who got this right was Terry Johnson, Bambi S, and Tanya Long. Okay, today's question has to do with the 2002 movie, Cabin Fever. Um, who played the man in the bunny suit? That's the question. The Easter Bunny. Man in a bunny suit. The Easter Man Bunny. <coughs> Mr. Easter Bunny. <laughs> there you have it. There's your trivia question for tonight. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be here today if it weren't for all of you. <laughs> hey. Stay awake. It's almost done. We love you all. 
very much. Thumbs up. You gotta sneeze. <laughs> we'll see you all tomorrow. Bye. Bye.